What is up? What is going on? David, SVA Card Collector. Sorry for it being so late. I was just lazy. Um, I really didn't have to go out anywhere today, and I was staying home, and I just didn't do it. There's your answer. So, wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Boy, the Mets, they continue to strive for greatness and fire. I don't care what they say. They mutually agreed. They fired Carlos Beltran. After not even managing yet, not one game. It's like, uh, how do you get fired on your day off? And yet, the Mets find a way. Ugh. So, he's gone. And now the latest, as of maybe a half hour, an hour ago, from what I've been reading, is that there was a burner account that it said it was Carlos Beltran's niece, but it isn't. Uh, it's probably some kid. But um, it's been reported before, and people have heard about this. Um, I know this guy, John Boy, J-O-M-B-O-Y. Um, he has a radio show, and he was saying that, you know, he, this is confirming stuff that he's heard, um, that Altuve and Bregman wore a wire and they had a buzzer on the inside of their shoulder. And actually, when Altuve hit that home run against Chapman, you could see him come around, cover himself, saying, don't rip, take my jersey off, don't take it off, and he covered himself. Now, I do remember them talking about that, and it was something he said, oh, it was about my girlfriend or his wife, and he wanted to be modest and not take his shirt off. That is a bunch of bull. Because, A, that's not a thing that the Astros do. Astros don't go, a guy hits a home run, time to take the shirt off. That's just not a thing. So, what is it? What could it be? What what could be the explanation? Um, It's tough for me to say, hey, they had a buzzer there. Um, I'm just going off the speculation and stuff like that. That would be crazy if that was the case, though. Um, it'd be a little annoying because now you're talking about 2018. You're not talking about 2017. Um, this is just getting worse and worse for the Astros. Astros may not care, but um, it is what it is. I mean, this is crazy. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's backing up. All right, guys. So um, I don't know what's left to say, but... What the hell? I mean, this is just getting beyond crazy. Um, This is during the day, and I'm going by... Man, the DMV, they said something about... And I'm not here to make a political statement, but um, illegals in New York are able to get a driver's license or or something like that. I, I don't know. Anyway... It has gone bonkers around the DMV. Like, you can't find spots. It is just crazy. So now I got to park, like, an hour away just to go to the AT&T store to change my uh, wireless phone into a business phone. But whatever. So you have all this nonsense going on in the baseball world that doesn't look good. Um, I'm sure Major League Baseball will cover it up. And what they're, what they're very good at is putting people in line, putting people in place, and telling everybody to shut up. Uh, just like they did with um, the Dodgers. They said, don't comment. You know, shut up. This is what we're doing. Which is a bunch of baloney. Excuse my language. But it is what it is. Um, it sucks. The fact that the players weren't punished previously is ridiculous. But whatever. So... We'll move on. We had a nice, good Facebook Live last night. Um, wish we had more questions. Want more questions. And again, it's just three guys or whoever can wants to hop on, hopping on and giving their opinions. No one's a, a, a professional. No one's... Sorry, somebody had to call when I was doing this. Anyway, no one's a professional, whatever. People just asking questions, sharing their experiences, sharing their what they collect and whatnot. So... Um, I think it was a good time had by all, um, and we'll be doing that again probably next Wednesday, maybe in that setting. If I can get somebody to interview, then I will be doing that instead, but um, 
that's the way we'll be going with it. Um, there was the those basketball cards that are coming out, and I think it's Revolution for whatever reason. I just cannot remember these names um, because I am a dodo, a dodo. Um, yeah, I'm like a revolution. Yeah, it's revolution. And that Zion card, I actually retweeted it. It looks awesome. The cards look great. Um, I know Galactic is the one that everyone's going to be going after. They're very difficult to get. Um, but they just look really sharp. Um, another thing, Markel Fultz is all of a sudden uh, waking up. Um, he's looking like the real deal for the Magic. And uh, played really well in defeating the Lakers, making LeBron James look like a little fool a little bit there. Um, so I know his, his price of his cars have been going up. Um, but, poof, poof. And also we got the Hall of Fame. Um, that's coming up soon. I think it was next Tuesday. We talked about that a little bit. Um, at the show, and as of 1.16, um, and it wasn't that many people um, who, um, it was like 30% of the voters, and it was Jeter at 100%, Larry Walker at 85 Kurt Schilling at 80%, and then I guess below the threshold was, uh, I think you have to get 75%, was Bonds and Clemens, they should, they gotta get in, this is ridiculous, but looking at the other names, Gary Sheffield's a Hall of Famer. Manny Ramirez is a Hall of Famer. Jeff Kent, I believe, is a Hall of Famer, but he's not getting in because he's a jerk. Uh, Sammy Sosa is a Hall of Famer. No doubt. Way ahead of Larry Walker or Kurt Schoen. Thinking about it more, Larry Walker is a Hall of Famer. And Kurt Schilling is a Hall of Famer, even though I hate his guts. Not for his political views or anything like that. I just hate him because he's with the Diamondbacks and with the Red Sox. And I hate those teams uh, because they played the Yankees. And they beat them. So, even, uh, not Billy Wagner. I don't think Billy Wagner. Andrew Jones, he was on pace. And then all of a sudden, he just, I don't know, he, he just dropped off at the very end. He, he stunk too late, too soon. He was awesome for a long period of time. And then all of a sudden, like, the, the stinkiness hit too early for him but you should be having it should be Jeter Walker Schilling Bonds Clemens Sheffield Manny Ramirez Sammy Sosa those are the guys that should be it no doubt the fact that Sammy Sosa only has 80 percent is ridiculous everybody loved him he was a great player I don't care but he injected he still had to swing the bat and hit the bowl so that's my thought on that so if you're trying to do a quick flip. Now's the time to start buying at least Derek Jeter if you can. I mean, it's really expensive. Larry Walker, his cards have gone gone up already. Um, Kurt Schilling and even Barry Bonds and um, and Roger Clemens. I mean, those cards are going to go up. Um, and if not, hold on to them. They're still great cards. Uh, Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens, eventually they're going to go up. Um, I have to do a short one, guys. Sorry. Um, sound like, sounds like last night. <laughs> anyway, so svacardcollectors.com. Also, download the Flick Chat app, and you guys know what to do. Buy some cards, go broke. Later.